All right, so I got my unhappy voice on. Because the, uh, you know, well, this. The basement that's always been dry is of course now not dry. Now in all fairness, we have gotten two and a half inches of rain since midnight. So I had initially planned on excavating the back side of this. The back doesn't look too bad, but now that I've got this coming in, we are going to proceed with repairing this on the inside first. And then we will take care of the other side because uh, obviously there's some, some water movement going on there. So we're going to get this side taken care of. Hopefully it'll dry out in a few days and then we can go through and we'll dig out the other side. So let's get started on this. All right, first things are first. We are going to affect this repair using hydraulic cement. Uh, what does that mean? Hydraulic cement is cement that you add water to. You don't add anything else to it. It has some, uh, uh, some additives to it that will make it dry, uh, that will make it set up really fast. Um, it expands as it dries. So the first thing that we've got to do is I've got to enlarge this to give uh, the cement a cavity to kind of work into and, uh, and you know, kind of get a bit of tooth uh, in there. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna use a cold chisel and a hammer. All right, the uh, fun continues. Someone has already been here. I've gotten it down to this point. And I've got that much further to go. And right here, if I wipe that, can see right there it starts to come out again <coughs> so if I can get this debrided uh, or you know uh, I don't know what the proper masonry term is if I can get this cleaned out then uh, this looks to be a pretty good candidate for this uh, hydraulic cement um, just a note normally I wear my hearing protection but there was a Thunderbird F-16 at the Dayton airport today that uh, was taxiing and flipped and was upside down. And I've been listening to the rescue uh, uh, going on. So uh, normally, you know me, I'm always telling you to wear your mask and you know wear your, uh, your hearing protection, but I'm kind of kind of doing double duty on that right now. So protect yourself. All right, I got the first round of uh, debridement done and I'm trying to get it, um, you know, a quarter of an inch, three eighths of an inch, maybe a half an inch in and, uh, you know, at least as wide. And so now we're gonna go down with the, the screwdriver and the shop vac and try to get all of that debris out of there um, so that we'll have a nice solid surface so we can start packing the cement into. All right, I'm gonna take a stab at this. I mix this up in my fancy high-tech. Yeah, let's do this, there we go. My fancy high-tech. I am 
as opposed to I've wet my crack ahead of time. Well, that sounds funny, doesn't it? <clears throat> so now I'm just trying to get as much of this in as I can. set up quick. I do not expect to be getting a call from the uh, big leagues of masonry uh, anytime soon. We've got that part done. Now, on the other side of this, we have got to excavate out some dirt to get to the bottom of this, and my guess is it's not really dirt, it looks kind of clay-ish. Um, this yard, especially this side of the yard, is a collection point. Um, I've got, uh, I've got 
two hills that run down from uh, opposing 90 degree directions that run down into uh, this yard. It, if you saw the video from uh, last week, you know, it drains pretty good, um, at least on the surface water. Now, I don't know how far down the water table is. It might not be that far, which is why this is kind of probably kind of soupy looking. Um, but we're going to excavate this out so that we can get down to the bottom of this foundation crack and get it um, get it repaired from the outside as well as the inside. It is my sincere wish that I could share with you the amount of fun that I'm having right now um, because that would mean that I'm having fun right now and I'm actually not. Um, as you can see, this is heavy clay soil that sticks to everything and uh, well we're just we're just digging a hole trying to get to the bottom of that crack and if you've ever dug in clay soil you know it's heavy and it's messy and there's a technical word uh, that describes uh, digging in wet clay soil and that word is sucks Whew. You know, back in the old days when I was Evil James, I would have uttered a string of obscenities by this point that would have hung over this part of southwestern Ohio for decades. All right, here's my hole. You can see the little light patch over on the left-hand side. That is the footer that I have reached. And then there's this weird bent over pipe. I don't have any idea what that is. And then it's probably difficult, maybe if I adjust the angle of the dangle here. Just below that pipe, there is what at least suggests that it is some sort of clay tile or a pipe. I don't, I don't think it's a pipe because it feels like the part that I have reached is like a 90 degree, so I don't know if um, they would have used, you know, square or rectangular clay pipe to do some sort of, you know, a, a drain around here. I don't know. I know that the last six inches or so before I hit the footer, the ground was two things. It was um, a little bit wetter and it was a little bit sandier. So now I have, I've gotten down there, so now I have to clean off the wall so that I can effectively track where the crack is. Then I have to open that crack up. You saw me do that with the cold chisel and the hammer on the other side of the wall. Uh, and then we can get it wet down and, uh, and uh, get that hydraulic cement in there and get that hopefully sealed up. So well, that's that's where we're at. Now it's time for time to I don't know what time it is. All right, with my uh, body in a very weird position, I have cleaned off so we can at least see where that crack goes all the way down to right there. That is not standing water. That is me trying to clean and get a good idea where that track goes. And it's, oh, I want to say it's almost 90 degrees through the wall because there is, let's see if I can find it. Um, on the opposite side of the wall, there's that exact, I don't, I don't know what you call it, some type of a pin. It's got like a couple of washers on either side of it. You've seen me pick about nine million of them up, but they, both sides of this crack, track right alongside that pin. So we're gonna start uh, channeling that out now, which is, well, you know.
Well, the goat rope continues. <clears throat> I have gotten it chiseled out all the way down to the bottom. I can't get it chiseled out at the bottom as much as I would like. That's the way it's going to be. So anyways, I'm going to start mixing this stuff up and then we're just going to start packing it in there. Oh, this works so much better if you remember to turn the camera off. surgeon days how to take gloves off without getting yourself contaminated anyways so there's the repair we'll give it a couple of days to dry and then we'll backfill it in and we'll uh, you know I might try to find some that tar stuff I don't know if I can find anything less than a five gallon bucket I don't really want to spend eight gazillion dollars on one um, so anyways, there it is, and, uh, all I gotta do is put all that crap back in at some point, and I've twisted and twisted and pulled, and I can't get whatever that pipe is out of there, and just another aside, on the near side of that hole where that step is, where that clay tile is, it's really squishy on this side of the tile this side of the tile right there really super squishy this stuff here wasn't so bad this here if I step there with my foot it pushes back up on the other side so maybe that clay is I don't know I just don't know alright here we are back in the crawl space uh, we are post op 72 hours so it's uh, pretty much dried where it's going to dry so I have got some spray on rubberized sealant that I'm going to use on this side I just didn't see the sense in buying you know a five gallon bucket of tar to use two cups out of it so don't judge me
If you enjoyed watching this episode of Mrs. Rattlecan's House, consider checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and to get the latest updates on our progress, like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Perhaps we should have some wine. <laughs>